Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Spring Porter with Spring Solutions LLC. If you are new to bankruptcy unclaimed funds, new to my channel, welcome. This is the video for you to start with. In this video, I'm going to be covering what bankruptcy unclaimed funds are in a nutshell. I'm going to be going over um, the digital products that I have for sale and, and the pricing of those. So if you're new, stay with me. We're going to get into that in a minute. If you've been with me for some time, because I've been doing this for almost three years, I have this type of information like sporadically on my channel. But again, I've had the channel for three years. And so I had to add things to the course and I had to change pricing. So I'm going to be deleting and doing a little housekeeping, deleting about three videos. Um, and then this will be like the central video. So if you've been with me for some time, you may not want to watch this video. But for those of you that are new, welcome. I really appreciate you tuning in. Again, my name is Spring Porter. I have been a paralegal for about 10 years. Uh, I stumbled on bankruptcy unclaimed funds. Um, working as a bankruptcy specialist in a credit union. I clicked on a link and I was like, what is this? Why would there be assets left over from a case? Um, how is this working? Um, so it was just a natural curiosity led me to finding out the process, figuring out what is missing, what don't I understand, and basically leading me up to this moment. I've been doing this for three years. So again, I'm just sharing the knowledge with people that want to make income, want to start a business at home. So again, it sounds like an oxymoron, like assets left over from a bankruptcy case. How is that happening? But it is a real thing. Uh, individuals or companies file and there's assets left over, usually due to something being sold or maybe an overpayment. Uh, people move, they don't notify the court. And when things get paid out and there's a wrong address, the money goes right back to the courthouse and essentially the U.S. Treasury Department. So um, it is a real thing, as I mentioned, uh, it could be for the debtor or the creditor um, that funds go back to. It's similar to regular unclaimed funds in that there is there are assets available um, and you're just basically locating them. So the skip tracing part of it, calling people, that type of thing is something that is similar with state funds. But again, the only difference is uh, usually is that this is um, in the confines of a bankruptcy case. These are federal funds. There aren't any caps with, um, you know, how much you can charge and that type of thing. So are, there are different nuances. Um, I do go over the specifics in the course, and we'll get into that in the next slide. Um, you don't need to be a lawyer to do this. Um, you can work in all but three or four districts. You have to be a lawyer, or there is a program that I created where you can kind of just do the documents for the, the client, and then they can pay you directly. So um, again, I have not needed to call an attorney at all to help me with unclaimed funds. I've been able to work this um, in different states. And again, there's no percentages on what you can charge. And that's one of the main differences when doing regular state funds and then doing with bankruptcy unclaimed funds is that with federal bankruptcy unclaimed funds, again, no, no caps, no percentages. It's what you and the client agree to. So your income, how much you can make is totally up to you. Uh, what deals are you going after? What percentages are you charging? What have you negotiated with the client? How quickly is your client getting you those documents back? Um, all of those things play into how much you're making for that particular month. And again, you get paid directly from the U.S. Treasury, which is what I like. Um, similar to, you know, like an EFT payment that you can get from, you know, your tax refund. That's the way that some of the payments come or they will just send you a check um, directly to you and then you send the payment uh, to your client after that. So that's the way, you know, that I like to do it and that it's good that you can do it that way because sometimes with state funds, you don't always get the check directly. So again, you can work in most districts. You don't have to stay. I'm in Maryland. I think I've only gotten one Maryland deal. I've gotten districts um, outside of where I live um, just because Maryland tends to be a little bit um, difficult in their courts. They always have an attitude and they're really slow with their processing. So again, you can work in different districts. You don't have to be stuck and confined to where you are. A little to no startup money is needed. All you need is regular office equipment. Uh, and um, an LLC if you choose to. You don't need a PI license. Um, you don't have to register in every state. Um, it's just where you are. If you want to set up an LLC, you can. Uh, if you don't, that's fine too because most of the districts, again, will allow individual people to do this. They do work with third parties, and those third parties don't necessarily have to have an LLC. I would just think um, to think about having an LLC just because it makes you more professional and more reliable to reaching out to the general public. So we're gonna go over what digital products I have for sale uh, in the next slide, stay tuned. 
So the first uh, course that I created was Bankruptcy Unclaimed Funds course. Uh, again, I've been doing this for three years. This is the first one that I created. Uh, the BK Hack is something that I created secondary. Um, and I didn't want to combine these two programs together because the process is different. In the original uh, Unclaimed Fund program, you can work in most districts. This is the course that I utilize the most to make the most money. Uh, the BK Hack method is just restricted to three or four districts because they don't work with third parties, but either you can call a lawyer or you can just do the documents for your client and they give you the commission. So that is the main difference. That processing is different. What, How the documents look is slightly different. So I didn't want to confuse folks with putting that and combining that together. But the things that are similar in the program, they're, they're almost identical between like lessons one to three because that lays the foundation. I go over, you know, basic terminology, chapter seven, chapter 13, basics on what you need to know. Uh, and then toward like lesson four and five, they start to, to differ. Um, so I show you how to research leads in both programs, skip tracing, just basic skip tracing. I show you how to fill in the documents. Um, I basically walk you through a perfect case scenario from beginning to end um, so that you know how to fill things in. Uh, I give you letters, scripts that you can use, uh, contracts that I've used. Um, quizzes and homework assignments are there just to kind of test your terminology so that you can understand. Every uh, unclaimed fund genre has their own lingo. Like um, with mortgage overages, they, the terminologies is mows and toes for tax overages. So there's certain terminology for um, you know different genres. And bankruptcy is no different. We have creditor, debtor, you have to know the difference between the two. Um, trustee and things like that, you have to know what it is that you're looking at. Um, so that is what the homework assignments are for, just there to, so you can start putting theories to practice and you're starting the everyday process. I also in the programs go over any kind of updates that I find if I'm working on a district that's particularly difficult or maybe they've changed their processing or documents, I'll let you know when I catch things. I also provide you with my case files so that you can see, you know, what I did. If there's something I had difficulty with, I show you, you know, the documents on how I write them down. So this is exactly what I do. And then I also offer coaching. Um, so the coaching is there um, for you if you need it. Um, I've made the courses very simple. So someone who does not have any kind of legal background can kind of jump in. Um, that's just the way that I like. I'm like, hey, talk to me like I'm a five-year-old, literally, so that I can understand the process. That's the way that I like to teach. Um, the coaching is there. Um, I would like to tell folks to please do these things on your own first. Go ahead and, and use me as a last resort. So try to research it on your own. Then call the clerk. And if you can't get anywhere with them and you still don't understand, then email me. Because if there's something that's going on, I may have to do the same research that I'm telling you to do. So I'm always trying to prepare folks to be able to do this on your own. If you don't know um, how to do it exactly, you should know where to look to find the answer. All right. So we're going to get into the last digital product and I'll show you the pricing. Stay tuned. So here we are in this slide. I'm going over the state unclaimed fund guide. This is the last digital product that um, I have to offer. Um, I basically made this as an answer to a lot of questions that I get from time to time um, pertaining to state funds. I don't work them, but people ask me all the time, hey, what are the rules for this? How do I find the information for this? Um, and so this is sort of a guide for those that are interested in getting started with state funds. Maybe they don't have the money for a full on course, um, but they're not sure how to research and, and where to go. So I put everything in one central location. I don't typically work state funds at all because as a bankruptcy specialist, I just fell into bankruptcy because I understand that better. Uh, state funds, um, their rules are not as uniform as bankruptcy. They're kind of all over the place. And then also, um, you don't get paid directly always. And there's a cap on what you can charge. So for those reasons, I don't like to work uh, state funds. Um, but I do have a guide for people that are interested. I show you a tutorial for each treasury site. So I go through each state and say, hey, this is the treasury site. This is where you go to find the information. This is the contact information. It's all in one spreadsheet. I give you links, contact information to the treasurer. I am heavy on also including the code links. So not only um, should you know the percent, which I include, but you also need to know where to find the links in case the rules change. So one of the things in researching this, uh, I did find a site, but it was old. The information was not up to date. 
I found like old blog posts of attorneys and they wrote articles on unclaimed funds, but it was, it, it wasn't inclusive of all states and all, you know, areas. It didn't have everything in one location. So this is what I'm offering to you for those that are interested in state funds, having everything all in one location. I also show you um, a sample contract I give you and a power of attorney. So again, not a course, but a place to start. Um, again, I always want to equip you and I tell my bankruptcy students do to as well, make sure that you know where to look uh, in case the rules change. So I'm able to provide you with information for the timetable that I create these things, but rules and laws can change at any moment. It's up to you to always do your research. Make sure you're clicking on the links that I give you to find the rules, know how to read them and you know do the find search and use the keywords that I give you so that you can have the most accurate information in terms of you know percentages and, and when things change. So the pricing for all these things, the main program, Bankruptcy Unclaimed Funds is $750. The BK Hack is $375. The State Unclaimed Fund Guide is $300. Um, if you wanted uh, bundles, I do have two. Um, the BK bundles are $1,000. So that's to both the main bankruptcy program and the um, BK Hack, $1,000. If you wanted all three, so both bankruptcy courses and a State Unclaimed Fund Guide, it's $1,300. If you have any questions pertaining to my channel, any information, again, I'm going to be giving you general information. Um, email me springsolutionsllc at gmail.com. That is my preferred method of communication. I do have my telephone number listed, but my office line is attached to my cell phone. So I do have a habit of answering it. And sometimes I may not be able to, because I'm thinking that maybe it's a client um, and not a student, but, you know, it could be either or. I would really prefer you email me with questions that you have. Um, sometimes I'm running around with my son. I don't always have time to, to talk a long time. But if you send me an email, I'm able to respond to you a lot faster. So if you do prefer to have phone conversations, just email me and let me know what times work available. And I could set aside time for us to communicate and you can ask all the questions that you need. All right. So I hope that this video is helpful. It's giving you some information to think about in case you're thinking about doing bankruptcy unclaimed funds, or you're just trying to figure out what is good for you. Maybe you're interested in starting with state funds. It's up to you, of course, and your prerogative and what you want to do. So again, thanks for joining me. I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.